Cancer! Welcome to part two. It's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Here to take a look at what's going on possibly with someone else in your life, okay? If you haven't watched part one, which was about you, you might want to check that out. All right, so we're going to use these cosmic astrology cards here. We're going to see how you are feeling about where you're at using this deck right here. All right, and then we're going to get into the tarot. We're not doing reversals today, so if anything comes up in the reverse, we will flip it over. Up here is the situation. Right here is what you're manifesting. Right here are the details that you may see or you may not. And then finally, we have the guidance. All right, so let's see. Cancer, what do we have here? Moon. Feelings. All right, so this is about you exploring feelings with someone else. All right, so let's see how you are feeling about this. Come here. All right, we have trust. So this is about trusting your feelings even though maybe they haven't been fully exposed yet. We found out in part one that you have completed something in your life, gained some stability, whatever that means to you, and you are ready for two. That means you're ready for a connection or a relationship. So let's see, what do we have here? Three of Swords. Okay, so, you know, immediately here, you know, this can obviously be a heartbreak, okay? But it can also be heartache. And I feel like in this case, Barney, what are you doing? Stop that. I feel like we're talking about heartache. You might have heartache around somebody that you have been keeping your true feelings from, okay? Um, you might have been digesting certain feelings that you've had about somebody, trying to figure out, you know, where this person fits into your life. It's caused you some heartache. But at the end of the day, I feel like you trust your feelings. You trust the feelings that you have for this particular person. But you might realize that, you know, you have some heartache about the situation, but you also might realize that you've caused somebody else some heartache around the situation, especially if, like in part one, you know, there was something that you needed to complete in your own life or get settled in your own life before you really were ready to focus on a connection or a relationship. So let's see what you're manifesting here. Eight of Swords. My goodness, we have a lot of air energy here. You might be dealing with an air sign. Um, your sign did come up quite a bit, I will say, in the um, Aries reading, so you might want to check that out. So <clears throat> it almost feels like this energy is kind of dominating your thoughts. You might go back and forth between, you know, you may not doubt your feelings for somebody or a direction you want to take a relationship, but you might feel like you have to get through some heartache or heartbreak before this can come into fruition because you are manifesting an energy of maybe seeing something from only one perspective not being able to get out of your head about this and move into your heart space, you might be very stuck in your head space. So let's see what the details are about the situation. And we have death. So that's card of Scorpio. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Or, you know, we're we're talking about we're talking about feelings. Scorpio is water energy. And this could be about 
the transformation of your feelings or the transformation and ending that you just went through or are in the process of going through. You know, there might be big changes in your life where it's like, okay, so now I'm ready for this. Is is the other person ready for me? Is the other person um, expecting me to come towards them in a transformed manner? What is the guidance here? We've got the Seven of Wands. So it feels like you might meet some resistance when it comes to a particular person. Um, why that is? Let's see. Let's see what the resistance is here. And let, let's also take a look at what you're manifesting, which is you're kind of in a stuck energy here when it comes to moving forward with somebody you have feelings with. Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands. Okay, so the reason that you're manifesting the stuck energy is you just don't completely know where you stand with a particular person. Might be a fire sign, all right? Seven of Wands, and then we have Page of Swords. Okay, so, <clears throat> Like I said, you might be um, meeting some resistance from a particular person, and it's because they don't know exactly what to trust and not trust about you, okay? You might have been somewhat Eight of Swords closed off. You know, you might have told this person that, you know, you just couldn't do it. You just can't do it right now. You were dealing with something else. This person might have been offended. You might have broken somebody's heart is what it boils down to, okay? While you trust the feelings that you have for this person, this person I feel like might be skeptical of, of your feelings, of whether or not you're ready to get serious, whether or not you are ready for them. So let's see, because you might have really cut something off. You might have disappeared. You know, you might have just said, you know what, I can't do this right now. You might have ghosted somebody. Let's see the death card and let's see the three of swords. King of pentacles. So that's card of Taurus. So Sometimes the King of Pentacles can be about tolerance, tolerating an ending. You know, you might have had to tolerate, or they might have had to tolerate you going through, you know, ending a cycle, which I feel like was a very positive thing for you. And if you're still going through that, I still feel like it's going to be a positive outcome for you. They might have had to tolerate an ending that you caused because you weren't ready. Okay? Up here, Three of Swords, and we have Four of Wands. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling like this person experienced heartbreak when it came to when it came to you. They might still be experiencing this. They may have be having a really difficult time thinking about forever, four of wands, thinking about potentially being with you forever, they might have let that idea go, okay? It feels like the timing wasn't right for you in the past. Now it feels like it's right, but you are manifesting this energy of, you know, I don't know if this person is really going to be ready for me now. I don't know if this person wants to explore this right now because I was kind of stuck in the past. I was kind of, you know, this person was tolerating an ending that really broke their heart. Let's look at the trust card. King of Swords, card of Gemini. You could be dealing with an air sign. You could be de dealing with a Gemini, a Scorpio, or a Taurus, or a Pisces. Um, 
You know, I feel like with this, with this card, King of Swords, it's like you're trusting in how you're thinking about this more than you're trusting your heart space. So you're trusting your head more than your heart. And that's why you're manifesting this energy. You can see that we don't have, we don't have any cups here. We have a lot of fire. We have a lot of air. So there's a lot of passion here, but it's passionate thinking. We're not really necessarily showing that to each other. We're not showing that passion to each other. And we're definitely not showing our feelings towards each other. So let's see. One more on the guidance and what you're manifesting and then your feelings. Feelings, two of cups, there it is. There's no doubt about it, okay? This came up for you in the first, uh, in the first part of the reading and now it's coming up, bam, right on the feelings. So there is a mutual connection here what you're feeling, this person is also feeling. So let's see, you're manifesting kind of a stuck energy, not knowing if this person feels the same. They do. And then we have the magician. All right, so this is saying, you know, choose your thoughts, change your thoughts, change your life. So how you're thinking about this Two of Cups connection needs to change. Okay? And then... Over here, the guidance, this person, you're meeting some resistance from this person, even though they share the feelings, all right? They don't completely trust you. And then we have Ten of Swords. They don't trust you completely because in some way they have felt betrayed or hurt by you in the past. And we clearly see that with the Three of Swords. They thought in the past that you might be there forever, and that was taken away from them in some way. You might have done that. So it feels to me like you might have hurt somebody along the way here. Not because you intentionally wanted to do that, but because the timing just wasn't right for you in the past. All right, so let's get one card for you and one card for your person. Let's see. For you, intuition. Where does your intuition come from? It comes from your heart space. It comes from your feelings. All right. So it says each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what is needed. This is about connecting to your heart space and listening to your intuition. For your person, we have karma. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. So I'm not a big lover of this card. Okay, that might mean something to some of you, but I am going to pull another card for your person. Sacrifice. So <clears throat> this person more than likely feels like they have made some sacrifices for love for you. And they might be looking for something like that in return from you, seeing if you're willing to sacrifice anything for them. It says sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It is a sacrifice to love, okay? So this person might be learning that it's a sacrifice to love. They might be learning through a karmic situation here between the two of you. However, you know, karma, I feel like we, we create our own karma. It's nothing that somebody does to you, um, you know, and we can fix our own karma, okay? This person might be... Somebody might have done what you did to them. 
they might have done to somebody else. So it feels like possibly they're experiencing a full circle moment, all right? And you are experiencing a lesson in really listening to what your heart is telling you. Because you're right now in that King of Swords energy, you're really probably more in your headspace than, than you should be right now. All right, so Cancer, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Have a great week. Bye.